Hello, we are team AP116 from Sri Lanka and we are participating in the Innovate FPGA Design Challenge 21-22. For this project, we focus on the topic of sustainable agriculture defined by the GEF Small Grants Program. Agriculture is the way of cultivating soil and growing crops to provide the most basic human need for survival, which is food. To emphasize its importance, two sustainability development goals has been de defined by the United Nations to develop the infrastructure in the agricultural field in the world. However, in most parts of the world, farmers still follow traditional methods without adopting the newest technology available in the world. Therefore, the efficiency of the agriculture is very much less and has not reached its highest potential yet. To solve this problem, we introduce a much more convenient and an efficient way of growing agricultural plants. Our solution makes the best use of technology available by Intel SOC FPGA, Analog Devices and Microsoft Azure. The result is the green machine. This is an automated mini greenhouse system that provides an exciting way of growing plants. This is adaptable by an average person even without much agricultural knowledge. The user can incorporate this in, even into their busy lifestyles to grow and monitor plants without much hassle. This is affordable and an easy to use device which is efficient to give you the maximum yield out of these agricultural plants. Our green machine is equipped with automatic irrigation, a RGB LED system to provide light in the optimal spectrum for plants, and a fan system to provide ventilation and temperature regulation. Our system also tracks the plant quality and growth using images taken from two cameras and processed at the edge. Additionally, our system tracks the soil and environmental conditions using a set of several sensors. Soil pH sensor, soil moisture sensor, light intensity sensor, CO2 sensor and temperature humidity sensor. The soil pH sensor and the moisture sensor are connected to the CN0398 board by analog devices. The process sensor readings are sent to an Arduino Mega board to which the other sensors and cameras are directly connected. The sensor and image data are transmitted to the DE10 Nano via Bluetooth using the HC05 module. Based on the control signals received from the DE10 Nano, this microcontroller turns on and off the fan and the sprinkler system. The sensor and image data obtained from the Arduino Mega are processed at the edge using the DE10 Nano. The communication is established by a second HC05 module. By using Bluetooth, we can connect multiple units of green machines to the same DE10 Nano controller. The complete design scheme of our system is as follows. The computation is done at the edge using the E10 Nano board. The Arduino Mega sends the image and sensor data and receives the control signals for the actuators from the DE10 board via Bluetooth. A UR transmitter and receiver is implemented on the FPGA using Verilog for this communication. The received sensor data are written into the physical memory of the SOC. The main control algorithm is implemented on the HPS using a C program. This program processes the sensor data and feeds the image data into a neural network to detect abnormalities or diseases in the plants. This convolutional neural network is implemented using OpenCL SDK for FPGAs. The sequential host program runs on the HPS while convolutional kernels are created for computational acceleration within the FPGA. Based on the sensor data and the classified images from the CNN, the program determines the requirements of water, light, and ventilation 
and sends necessary control signals to Arduino via Bluetooth through the UART. This process is repeated in specific time durations. Meanwhile, after each session, the recorded sensor and image data and the determined action executed in the actuators are sent to be stored in the Microsoft Azure Cosmos DB database. This is done by provisioning the DE10 Nano as an Azure IoT Edge device and connecting it to the Azure IoT iHub. The data in the Azure are processed in the long run to study the plant behavior in provided environmental conditions and upgrade the system for better performance by remote updates to the container-based applications. This demonstration shows how the D10 Nano interfaces with Arduino Mega or Bluetooth serial communication. 8-bit encoded commands are sent by the D10 Nano to request sensor data and send control signals to Arduino Mega. The upper window shows those commands sent by the D10 Nano. The Arduino serial monitor shows the commands received by the Arduino Mega. Now I will demonstrate the activation of LEDs. They are capable of providing any RGB combination of light determined by the controller. The command L1 is sent by the FPGA to activate the LEDs in magenta color. Next, the command L2 is sent to activate the micro color scheme which appears as reddish yellow. Both of these color spectrums are recommended for photosynthesis and growth. Next, the sprinkler system will be activated. The command W is sent to the Arduino to start the water supply. Then, when the command S is received, stops the water supply. Next, the fan is activated. For that, the command F is sent over the Bluetooth link by the FPGA. Then the fan is stopped by sending the command X. Finally, I will demonstrate how the sensor readings are requested and received. Command H for humidity. Command T for environmental temperature. Command C for CO2 concentration. Command M for soil moisture. Command I for light intensity. This demonstration shows how the sensor data are uploaded to the Cosmos DB database. The window on the left shows the Python script written using Azure Cosmos Python module. This program is deployed on the HPS of the DE10 Nano to periodically upload sensor data in its memory to the Cosmos DB. The window on the right shows the Cosmos DB data explorer to visualize data. This program reads a .csv file in memory, segments the data, and uploads it into the cloud with a timestamp. You can see how the uploaded data is stored in the Cosmos DB database on the right side of the window. I hope you have a good understanding about our project by now. We mainly intend this product for domestic users, farmers, and researchers. As our design has an attractive appearance, it encourages homeowners to use our green machine as an indoor garden. This enables them to grow organic food within their own homes, which offers them many valuable health benefits. Furthermore, as our system is a scalable design, a farmer can combine several modules of green machines together to create a small to large scale farm. Furthermore, as our green machine system is connected to the Internet of Things, the data acquired from such systems could be analyzed for plant-based research and further optimizations. I hope you enjoyed our Innovate FPGA project video. Thank you for watching.